hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you are new here kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you are old here thanks so much for coming back again so in this video i'm going to show you a simplest way to make any sports channel art for your channel so this goes to the sporting men and the gaming men you can use this of course so without further ado let's get into the video so I start off by opening my YouTube channel Arts Template. If you've watched any channel arts tutorial, I have the beauty and the general one. If you watched that before, you would be able to see this particular one. So I'll start off by creating a rectangle as usual. So I'll create it around here. You can choose to make it any color. So let me go for white and then I'll click OK. So I'll make sure that it has filled the whole of this. Yes, and I got this. So I right click and go to smart objects, convert to smart objects. And I have the smart object over here. So probably we're going to double click on the smart object and it will take us to a new document. So this is where we're going to do everything. And after we save it, it is going to reflect back onto our main channel. So let's do this very real quick. So I have some pictures over here. I have a picture of the Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo and Amber Rose and I'm going to make use of this particular picture also. I got all of them from Google. So I'll first of all open this particular image and I'm going to use that as the background. So I'll send it to my rectangle over here and I'm going to press Ctrl T to transform it out. So somewhere around here and I'll double click on it. So I'll position it around this place and I'll go to filter blur and some gaussian blur so probably I want it around here let's try and experiment that okay let's say here is okay and then I'll click okay so I'm getting rid of this particular picture don't mind me okay and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to press ctrl u to add some sort of saturation to it to make it more or a little bit saturated so i'll click ok when i'm done so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to import my pictures so the first one that i'll import is that of amber rose so the next thing that i'm going to do is import my pictures so the next the first one that i will import is that of amber rose so this time around i'm using the place instead of the open so i'll select that of amber rose and i have it i have him over here so i'll drag him around this side and then i'm going to right click and go to rasterize layer select this rectangular market tool and get rid of some part of the picture that i don't want so around here and i'll press ctrl d when i'm done now what i'm going to do next is grab the rectangle tool draw a light rectangle over here and i'm maintaining the color to be white also so over here and then i'll push it to my right hand side just a little bit now the next pictures that i'm going to insert is that of cristiano ronaldo and messi so i'll go to open and open that image i'm going to unlock it and then I'll select that of Messi first. Make a duplicate and then bring it on, on top of my rectangle over here. So I'll just transform it a little bit. And then I'll place it under my rectangle, right? So I have it over here. And then I think this area is okay. All right, so I'll then go back and bring that of Ronaldo so I'll select the rectangle market two again and then make a duplicate and send him over. So I have him also over here and control T to transform him. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So control T and then I'll transform him somewhere around here. And then I'll bring him over here. Alright, so the next thing that I'll do is I'll make a duplicate of this rectangle by pressing Ctrl J. 
and then I'll drag it over to this side and I have the pictures ready okay so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a test to this particular one so I'll select my test tool over here and then I'm going to type a name like let's say let's assume I gaming which of course in actual sense it means innocent gaming but I'm not running a gaming channel but I'm just using this to illustrate it to you right so I'll go to the blending options by right clicking and then I'll add some few shadows to it let me put it here so drop shadow and then I'm going to increase the size a little bit and the distance and some spread and then I'll add a few stroke to it so few stroke like that let me increase that up there yes so something like this and then i'll get rid of this one so i'll position it very neatly over here and then i'm going to add my social media to it so i'll draw a rectangle under this and then change the color to white and then i'll go to my folder i have the social media icons in it okay so the first one that i will add is instagram so i'll select that of the instagram account and make a duplicate and then i'll send it over to my rectangle so this time around i have to zoom in so that you can clear so that you can get exactly what we're doing so i'll pick the magic eraser tool over here and then i'll get rid of all the whites around this like that so i'll press ctrl t and then resize it to fit my rectangle like that and then i'm going to add a name or a test to it so let me bring this one here okay so this one will go around here and then the test i'm going to use um okay so say uh, underscore innocent that's my instagram account and then i'm going to use acrobat a font called acrobat and that one will be bold and the color will be black so that you can see it very clearly so i'll bring it over here and then try to increase it out a little bit okay so instagram and then the next one i will bring in snapchat so i also have snapchat if you want to add me up so i'll make a duplicate of this say innocent and my snapchat handle is also say innocent so you can add me up there and then we can have a chat so i'll select all the four and then bring it inside or in the middle of the rectangle like that okay so let me decrease this one a little bit okay and then i have this done so the last thing that i would like to add is the subscribe or the subscription notice you know as youtubers that one means a lot to us so i'll create a rounded rectangle over here and since the subscription um button is red i'm going to change it to red yeah red and then i'll add a test something like subscribe now so i'll change the color to white and then i'll paste it inside or bring it inside and increase it out so something like this and i have it over here so by now i think everything is set and done and i have my pictures over here but i want to add one more thing to it and what would i be i think that would be 
what we call lens flare so this is an optical lens flare that i downloaded also from google so i'll open it up just unlock it and bring it onto my rectangle so i'll place it on top of the players over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to the blending mode and i'll change the blending mode to screen so i'll add some sort of lighting or some flare over the players like this of course you can decrease the opacity from here to make it look a little bit nice or you can just keep it that way if you want to and if you want to add any other test over here you just grab your test tool maybe the type of games that you play or the type of spots that you show on your channel or any other thing like that if you want to add it you can just add up a test here and then you are good to go so when we are done with all these things we're going to get rid of the rectangle and it, it will ask us to save or not so we're going to click yes for a save and after it has saved let's get rid of all these we don't need them anymore so we get rid of these two and then we get rid of this one so we go back to our main channel art that is the main youtube banner and you can see that this subscribe now button is almost going inside out of the main youtube channel art template so we will go back and fix it all right so we're going to grab the rounded rectangle and the subscribe now test and we're going to transform it a little bit and bring it inside so that it won't go just deep like that so that of amber rose i'll bring him a little bit here and then we're going to save that one okay so afterwards we just get rid of it and then our channel art is ready so we want a new background but i would like us to use the same thing that we've done here for our background so what are we going to do we're going to make a duplicate of this one and the one beneath it we're going to rasterize it and set it on top over here like this so we can choose to increase the size okay and then what do we do next we go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then we're going to blur it out blur more something like that yes and then we click ok so after it has finished blurring all we're going to do is make a duplicate of it and send it down here like that now another thing you can do over here is you can also add anything maybe like a shadow or let's say a stroke to this particular thing that you've done over here so let's say a stroke or let's try a shadow a shadow will do and then you can add it over here as simple as that yes so you click ok when everything is set for you and then your banner is ready to go so this is quite a simple way to make something like a gaming channel art or a sport channel art if you are running a gaming or sport channel so i hope this was helpful and thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any other comments in the comment section below i'll be there intact to answer all comments or all questions that have been asked so thank you so much for watching again i'll catch you in the next video bye